let's find the temperature of the gas at the point x, y, z. Uh, if the function is given as x squared minus 5 x y plus y squared z. So they first ask to find the rate of change of the temperature. That means derivatives. What kind of derivatives? All partial derivatives. For a, let's find basically the gradient g x y z is going to be. Let's be fast a little bit and just learn to find those derivatives right away. I'm looking at this equation and finding partial derivatives there with respect to x it's going to be 2x minus 5y with respect to y it's going to be minus 5x plus 2yz with respect to z it's going to be 0 0 y squared done very fast and convenient now rate of change at the point 3 2 1 this vector at the point 3, 2, 1 will be plugging 3, 2, and 1 for your convenience. You can sign them not to make a mistake. And then you will have... Oh, should I help? I don't know. Let me write down. Fine. I wanted to write down the int. Minus 2 and then minus 5 times 3 plus 2 times 2 and 1 comma 1, 2 squared. That is going to be 6 minus 10, which is negative 4. Minus 15 plus 4 minus 11. And then 4. That is uh, the first thing we needed to find. But then we also were giving a direction, right? Remember, we can't use this direction unless it's unit. This vector is not a unit vector. So to build d v in this case it's v we need to multiply gradient g times vector u so remember there should be u here that's a scalar product so the answer will be a number not a vector thus i need to first find a unit vector u so unit vector we need this unit vector is v over v v is given as 2 1 and minus 4 divided by the square root of 4 plus 1 plus 16 that is a square root of 21 so it's going to be you can write down as 2 over square root of 21 and then minus 1 over square root of 21 and minus 4 over the square root of 21. Nice. Finally, the actual derivative u is going to be a product of the two vectors, minus 4, minus 11, and 4, times 2 over the square root of 21, minus 1 over the square root of 21, minus 4 over the square root of 21, equals. This should be not a vector, so don't start writing a vector like this. This is wrong. The answer should be a product uh, should be a number, so it's, it's a dot product. Minus 4 times 2 is minus 8 over square root of 21. Minus minus gives you plus 11 over square root of 21. And minus 16 over square root of 21. It's going to be minus 35, I think. Minus 11. Oh, this is a mistake, I can see. So, this is positive, actually. Plus 1. I'm not sure why I put minus there. So, this should be positive, and then this should be negative. That's how I'm going to get minus 35 from my notes. Over square root of 21. Yeah, this looks very good. This is the first answer for A. Now... Let's continue. A asks us to find the rate of change in the temperature at the given point in the given direction. And as you can see, the rate of change is negative. So the temperature is decreasing. Question B just asks you if you understand the explanation of the uh, question of the answer in the question A. What is the direction of maximum rate of change of the temperature? Well, gradient by definition gives you the direction 
of the maximum rate of change of the temperature at this point unless the point is changed of course so b b is basically your gradient at this point which we found and it was minus minus 4 minus 11 and 4 we found it over here see this one so by the definition or actually one of the most important properties i would say of the gradient is that gradient is giving you a direction direction of maximum change maximum change and that's why you will meet those terminologies like gradient descent gradient ascent c is asking for what is the maximum rate of change at this point so they're again talking about gradient which we found from the previous question but in this case they're asking you not about direction they're asking you what is the maximum rate of change so if in B it tells you, oh, we're hiking this way, which is minus 4, minus 11, and 4, and you can plot it on the Cartesian coordinates in 3D, right? Uh, in C they're asking you the size of how much you're going to walk. That is the size of the gradient vector at this point. The size of this vector is the magnitude, which is 16 plus 121 plus 16 which is a square root of 153. So I always try explaining gradient as the hiking experience. Again, it says if you want to have the most intense hike, hike this direct to this direction, and direction is minus 4, minus 11, and 4, and the length of the, this intense hike is going to be square root of 153. That is the idea here. Hopefully now you understand gradient in the russian also is gradient but the answer sounds as quadratic корень 153 square root of 153 good job for watching and keep practicing